We are at the uh, Newton Roller Rink, and the uh, schools are here competing in the solar race. So we thought it would be a great place to bring our new 2011 Chevy Volt. Um, the government just announced that they were buying over 100 of these. And uh, so that was great news. It validates that this is the technology of the future. And in particular, it, today's infrastructure, it's the perfect answer for anyone that's looking to say goodbye to the gas pumps. All I have to do is press the power button and it starts the car up. And you can't even hear it running. You get in this, you push the button, and there is no engine that starts. So once you get over that, you're like, well, okay, this is cool. I can drive this car without a lot of noise. You know, this is quiet. This is going to be a nice silent ride. And then off you go, and there was an old cartoon, the Jetsons, and you kind of feel like George Jetson as you silently take off with fantastic acceleration because with an electric motor, you know, you get your torque right then and there, whereas in a gas engine, it takes a little while to build up some steam. It'll travel 40 miles on all electric power and an additional uh, 340 on gas assisted generation. So what that means is uh, once, once the uh, electric battery depletes after that 40 miles, there's a pony motor that kicks on and regenerates the battery system. At no time is the car propelled by that gas engine. That gas engine's sole purpose is to recharge the battery. This is definitely the car of the future, um, especially the uh, near-term future with the infrastructure that we have, because on board is a little generator. It's gas-powered, and it's there so that if the batteries are starting to run low, it'll turn on, and you hardly hear that. And when it does turn on, it's just to simply provide some electricity to the batteries. So you're always running on battery power, but you might need that little generator to get you to California. Whereas if I'm commuting from where I live in Sparta to Newton, I might never have that generator turn on. And the only gas you use is the gas that it uses to just keep the gas fresh and to keep that generator, you know, lubed up and ready to go. Tell us what's going on in here. Okay, right now uh, you're looking at the uh, center information center. There's uh, three modes. You have power flow, charging, and energy info. And you can keep uh, informed on your volt at all times. By hitting power flow, you'll, you'll see it's telling you you're on engine power right now. You go to charging mode. It tells you approximately what time when you plug your vehicle in it would be done charging. Like, for example, right now it's telling me if I put it in 120 volts, it'll be done at 10 a.m. If I put it in 240, it'll be done at 9.45 a.m. You can plug it into your household 110, or if you want faster charging in four hours, you can have an electrician, you know, for $1,000 or so, put in a, char a 240 volt charging station, and it'll charge up in four hours. So you can never go to the gas pump again, if theoretically, with this car. So glad that it's uh, here in the community that... A lot of the people can see it and hopefully invest in one because I think that's the way uh, that we have to move in that direction. Uh, I certainly try to teach the kids in school. We're talking about it all the time. We've been waiting for this for a few years as we've been reading about it in a lot of the magazines. So it's great just to see it here in person at the hockey rink at the solar sprint race. It's a good way to go. You know, we need to start consuming fewer fossil fuels. And if this is the way to do it, then that's great. We're really happy to be invited to come down and show off our vault and let the kids who are interested in this kind of technology check out the vehicle and uh, just happy to be here. It's fun to be out here instead of sitting in my office looking at a computer screen. We're real happy to be here. If anyone has any more questions, they can visit you at McGuire. Yes, uh, McGuireChevy.com or just give us a phone call or better yet, stop by and take it for a drive. This is a demo that's going to be in service for probably six months, I would say. And uh, for people that are serious about it, we invite him to come by and sit in it, maybe drive it. Check it out, McGuire Chevrolet, Route 206 by the Square, Newton.